Welcome, everyone, to the inaugural Ben Willett podcast. And I'm here with the first guest, the perfect first guest, because he could talk for hours, AJ Robinson. Say hi, AJ. What's up? And the second best perfect guest, she could probably talk for hours very quietly, though, Paige McIntosh. Say hi, Paige. Hi. So uh, let's get into some interesting topics here. So me and AJ were talking yesterday. What did you want to talk about? Inhabitable planets? No, habitable planets. Oh, wait, a habitable planet. Yeah, because basically every planet besides Earth is inhabitable. So, yeah. are you going to talk about it or are you just going to pull out your phone? No, I got to pull up the. Oh, okay, you got to pull up the article. So, uh, yeah. how are you guys doing? Paige, how are you doing? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm, you know what? I'm living life. That's all we can say, I guess. AJ, how are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Just, uh, just living life. Exactly. All right. Good. Good. So, uh, what's up? How's uh, how's life going with you two? Good. All right. Good. All right. Uh oh, that doesn't sound too interesting. So, all right. As AJ's pulling that up, let's. Uh, Paige, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? What are you into? Uh, what are you up to nowadays? How's uh, how's any sports you're playing? What's going on? What's up? Um. Well, I like movies. I like, like watching movies. Oh, well. We'll probably um, get into that a little bit later. Yeah, I like photography and, like, filming things, making little movies. Nice, nice. Um, as for sports, I play hockey. That's not going very swell. I hate it, but, you know. Oh, story for later. All right, I'll note that. Passes the time, you know. Passes the time, nice. <laughs> AJ, what about you? What are you into? Uh, you we know, could be here for a while. Anyway, so what? Just, uh, you know, video games and... Uh, Getting through shop stuff, auto body. Shop stuff, auto body? Why don't you go into that? What is that? All right, so uh, I'm in auto body at school, and uh, I repaint cars and stuff like that. I'm in the refinishing aspects of it all. Um, I want you explain a little bit. What, what does that mean? Okay, so um, if a car gets damaged and it um, gets repaired, it's not going to you know, look nice. So I basically repaint everything. Um, I put on primer, sealer, base coat, clear coat, so that it matches the rest of the car. Nice, interesting. So why don't we talk a little bit about your car addiction, I like to call it. When, when did it all start? Why did it all start? And where did it all start? Um, I really started uh, eighth grade, pretty much. Uh, and then I really started getting into it. Um, I guess what really sparked it all is, um, no joke here, I started playing Forza Horizon 3. Wow, and, another uh, video game. <laughs> An interest of yours. Yep, and uh, there's a lot of real life aspects to it, so I just got into it from there. I see. Uh, so, um, Paige, what about you? How'd you get into movies and hockey and everything you're into? Um, well, for hockey, it was freshman year, and I heard that there was a hockey team for girls and I just kind of like out of nowhere was like oh I'm gonna play this and nobody believed in me that I was going to and I did it and <laughs> truly yeah. uplifting story I'm very proud of you yeah. so uh you gonna pull up that story AJ or what yeah it's uh, right here it's right here all right why don't you tell us a little bit about your story that you found all right so I find this stuff very interesting habitable planets and whatnot so there's this one that um scientists found called Kepler 22b and it is very similar to earth it's uh and where is this located besides in space because i know it's in space you know only like 587 light years away how the hell did they find that i don't know okay so you didn't read it obviously but anyway well i'm not gonna look up a full like two paragraph well, you gotta, on, you gotta do your research man that's what i'm here for yeah okay so so it's like the surface temperature is like around 72 degrees Fahrenheit, which makes it, you know, perfectly habitable. So it's us. like living in Florida, basically. Sure. Um, I don't know exactly what this uh, Earth Similarity Index is, but um, the highest you can get is a 9, and this has a 0 0.79. So probably not anywhere close. To did Earth. I say 9? I meant 1. Oh, okay. I was like, uh, might not want to live there. No. Uh, so it's really similar. And... Uh, yeah, it's just a habitable planet way off in the distance. Like 
Okay. Who knows if Earth will ever get there. Yeah, I, science blows me away, man. We'll probably do anything at this point. Yeah. What about living on the moon? Could we live on the moon? Who knows, man. Mars? How about Mars? Well, we got to go get opportunity back, don't we? Yeah. Rest in peace for rover opportunity. Anyway, before I start crying. Um, what else could we do? Oh. What's your thought on ghosts, both of you? Do you believe in them? Sure. Like, you know, something has to happen after death, so. Well, yeah, you don't think we just turn to black and that's it? No. I mean, whether or not it's, like, ghosts or lost souls, like, trying to find their way to wherever they're going or whatnot, but, you know. I think you've watched Haunted Mansion a bit too much. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So no, I... Fun. What about you, Paige? What do you think? Um, I do believe in ghosts. Have you ever had experiences? Yeah. Like what? Um, well, one time I was sitting on my couch, and I have this table that has a bunch of picture frames on it. And I was just chilling in there, and one of the picture frames just fell over. And I was Was there no, a big truck going by? I was nowhere near it, no. And there wasn't a big truck going by. Interesting. Was it, there an earthquake going on? No. Okay, so... I was just you know, watching Trailer Park Boys. Uh, okay. Must have, been, must have been a ghost then. All right, AJ, what about you? Have you had any experiences? I have not had any like encounters or whatever. Just uh, watch a lot of the ghost stuff. And You're just trying to believe? Yep. One of the weirdest experiences for me was right after my dog died, I would hear her walking. I'm not joking. I would hear her walking. I'd hear the jingle of her uh, collar. I swear, for like three months I heard it. It was pretty weird. It was probably some psychosomatic thing, but whatever. So what about um, what about movies? I know Paige is into movies. What about you, AJ? Are you into movies? Well, yeah. What what movies you been watching lately? Um, I don't know. There's like, I'll watch pretty much anything. Just not horror. Not a big fan. Anything? Of oh, you know. Uh oh. Yeah. Paige seemed offended by that. Horror is my favorite. Like genre of movies. I see. So what about what about you, Paige? What have you been watching lately? Um, well I've actually been rewatching American Horror Story. Interesting. I mean, that's not a movie, but I know. But I know. sure. That's Why don't you actually doing. answer my question now? So <laughs> Um, well last night I watched Bohemian Rhapsody, which is alright, I guess. All right. It's nominated for Best Picture, and it's all right, you well, guess? I thought they did a really good job with, like, the casting and everything. Oh, well, yeah. The guy looked exactly like him. Yeah, and, like, everyone in the band looks exactly like there actual people. But I felt like some of the scenes were just too long, and, like, there's I see. no point in having them be that long. So how was the final scene? I heard the final scene was pretty awesome. It was, the live that was definitely the longest scene. Oh, well, yeah, it was, it was just, the like, no full performance they performed like three songs and it was just the same thing over and over again like he's just walking back and forth on the stage and have you ever been to a concert yes i have but for a movie you'd think they would be more like cinematic cinematic more like, entertaining yep yeah. I, I can agree They're with just that. the same shots like over and over oh again. i see so do you think you'll win the oscar rami malik probably yeah you probably did will a really good job you did AJ, uh, what about you? What's your favorite movie of all time? Sorry, I had to put you on the spot there. Well, that's a hard one. I can't just think of that off the spot. You um, can't. Top five. Really what's your favorite. top five? Um, well, I really like those kind of like sci-fi kind of movies or superhero stuff. So, like, Infinity War, I mm -hmm. thought was really good. Um, I don't know. I can't think of a lot of movies right off the Did you spot. Like the, have you ever seen The Matrix? Uh, I've seen the first one. Okay, good. That, that's fine. How'd you like that? It was pretty good, but I watched it, you know, somewhat recently, so it seems a little outdated, but it was still good. Okay. okay. What about you, Paige? What's your uh, favorite movie of all time? Um, that'd probably have to be Donnie Darko. Oh, Donnie Darko. Yeah. So, uh, how'd you find it? What 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 do you love about it? What? Um, why is it Why is it your favorite? I'm pretty sure you told me about it. And I, like, refused to watch it at first because I don't listen to you. But yep, that's then, I, true. <laughs> then I realized it was on Netflix, so I watched it. And, like, I don't know, it just instantly... Was it a life-changing experience? Kind of, yeah. Whoa. Like, it was just such a trip, like, a trippy movie. And, like, I didn't understand it at all at mm -hmm. first. And I could, like, rewatch it every yep. time. And it's still, like, very 
mind yeah. boggling. Yeah, that mind word. boggling. My favorite movie of all time is The Warriors. You're gonna hear yeah. me talk about yeah. it a lot. I post about it a lot, and uh, I love it. I've been watching it since I was probably in diapers. I probably shouldn't have, but I did. It's pretty freaking awesome. You should all check it out. All right, next topic. Do you have any weird stories that have happened to you? Any weird people you've encountered? Any weird scenarios that you've been in? Not necessarily weird uh, people or anything, but um, I think the weirdest thing that has happened to me is um, I was uh, driving like with my dad one day. I forget where we were going, but um, it was in the town that I live in, so it's not like anything weird would happen. It's a small town, and... Um, so we were just driving along, and I'm just, like, staring out the back window. Uh, and uh, I see, like, lights in the sky, like an airplane or a helicopter or something like that. I don't think anything of it. And Uh-oh, it's, UFO. Yeah, I know. It's three of them, like, kind of all even, sp- yeah. evenly spaced out from each other. And they were kind of close to each other. But uh, I'm watching it, and it's just kind of, like, moving along or whatever. So I'm like, oh, probably like a helicopter or something. And then it just kind of, like, stops, like, midair, like... I don't know why it just stops moving. So that part kind of stumped me, and I, I pointed out to my dad. I was like, there's just like three lights that were just moving, and they just stopped. So then he looks at it, and he sees that they're stopped. He's like, that's that's kind of weird. And so um, then we continued driving for like a second, and then I look back up at them again, and they're just not there. Like, Do you think it could have been a drone? I mean, it could have been, but... It was be... it was kind of before drones oh, were okay. becoming a, a That's thing. That's true. Yeah. What What about you, Paige? Any weird stories? Um, I don't think I have any weird stories, but like probably the weirdest stuff that's happened to me is like regarding the whole simulation thing. <laughs> oh yeah. So for anyone not knowing about this, me and uh, Paige believe we live in a simulation. You can add three to that list. At three, AJ <laughs> believes in it too. Have you ever wondered? the coincidences that happen in your life and things you talk about suddenly appear and it's because we're living in a simulation, everyone. And once we die, we're going to wake up in the room and we're going to be someone totally different and we're going to, like Ready Player One or The Matrix or Spy Kids 3 Game Over. It's going to be sort of like that. Anyway, before I go off on a rant about how we're living in a fake world... One of the weirdest experiences of my life happened. It was me and my cousin. I was at his house. I was sleeping over. And I was on an air mattress. And he was on his bed. And we were watching Cadet Kelly on Disney Channel. This was 2009, 2010. And um, it was like 10 o'clock at night. We heard a knock on the door. And my aunt went and go, uh, grabbed it. She was like, hi, uh, can I help you? And it was a blind woman. She said, yeah, is my daughter home? She's like, what? This is like, I don't even know who you are. Why Why would my daughter be here? And she goes, because she's staying over here for the night. I, I know she's in there. And one thing led to another. My aunt and the woman started arguing. And the cops had to be called. And one of the weirdest things in my life, the woman walked over to my cousin's bedroom window and knocked on the window looking for her daughter. That's why I can never watch Cadet Kelly anymore because it freaks me out. Yeah. That is a... It, yeah, it is a weird story, isn't that's it? That's a strange one, yeah. So that's why blind people freak me out and that's why uh, air mattresses freak me out and that's why the Disney Channel original movie Cadet Kelly freaks me out. So um, let's see what else we got here. Um what about our conspiracy theories? You got any fun conspiracy theories besides the simulation since we've already gone into it? Well, I mean, I know you've already heard of it, Ben, but the uh, mattress firm money laundering. Well, yeah. I don't want to get a law. I don't want to get into a... Okay, get well, sued, this is but all yeah. Unofficial stuff, but there's a... Just a theory, just a just theory. Just a theory, exactly. That uh, mattress firm was uh, laundering money because there was so many stores. Well, before, before I continue, anyone listening, I want you to close your eyes and just think of how many mattress stores you've seen in your life and how close they are together. 
So mm -hmm. there was a lot of the stores located very close to each other, and there was a good amount of the stores in general. And so, like, if you think about it, a person only buys a mattress, what, like, every... Five, ten years. Exactly. Yeah. So it's not like you have a lot of customers coming in every single day looking for mattresses. Right. You probably have a handful, but not that many, and there was so many stores. And it was just kind of weird, so... You know, people started, you know, talking about why is there so many mattress firms and stuff like that. And then somebody brought up uh, money, money laundering or something. Interesting. So, uh, and, uh, yeah. yeah, one of the funniest ones I've seen, it's becoming very popular recently. It's the Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Have you guys heard of this? You have mentioned mm -hmm. it before to me. Kind of. People believe that they use uneaten pizza from different tables and they'll reuse it and reheat it and make a pizza out of different pieces to save money. And frankly, it seems to be true. I mean, oh when you look at pictures also, of Chuck E. Cheese, yeah, I don't like want to get sued that. by Chuck E. Cheese here, but <laughs> when you look at some of these pictures, man, unless Helen Keller cut the pizza, I, I don't know. Anyway, um, what about some, uh, life stories? You got any life stories you want to share? Any, uh, uplifting or just like cool life stories or like, um, near death life stories? I got a near death one. You got a near death one. All right, here we go. So I have a pool in my backyard and it's a good sized pool. And, um, I don't know how long ago this was, but I was very little and we used to have this giant, um, raft kind of thing. And it was a big cube and you could go on the inside and you could like walk around in it and stuff it was kind of cool and um there was holes in like the the ceiling and the the walls and stuff like that and if you flip the cube to its side it'd be in the floor so it was on its side and i think it was me and my brother my little brother were um in it and i go through the hole on the bottom because i mean it's pretty cool that you could do yeah that. i mean why wouldn't you exactly I the same thing. so i jump through it and then my brother flips the raft to the side that doesn't have a hole back in the bottom uh -huh. so i go up to the center of it i mean my eyes are closed underwater here and i'm a little kid so i'm holding my nose with one hand too so i go up and i go to like jump off the bottom of the floor and shoot up through the center of the the hole in the raft but uh there wasn't one so i slam my head on the top of the uh the mat and then i you know feel that i didn't go through it so then i'm like panicking here and so then i'm like moving all over the place and then I'm running out of breath, so I take my hand off my nose or something for a second, and I get a big breath in of water, and then I start choking on it. And then, luckily, I grabbed the side of the uh, the edge of the raft and moved myself out from underneath it, and got up, and then I was choking on water for about three minutes after that. But yeah, wow, that was yeah, that pretty got a little freaky. close there. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Paige? Any uh? near-death life experiences or uh, weird life stories where you uh, kind of wondered to yourself, wow, life is really weird? Um, not really. I mean, I have a story. It's kind of a near-death experience, but it's kind of a whole, like, misunderstanding. It was just kind of like an in-the-moment thing that I almost did. But um, a while ago, my mom went away on vacation leaving me home by myself for the weekend. And the first night I was home alone. Um, it was about probably like 10 o'clock at night. And of course I start hearing things like <laughs> noises Oh stuff. yeah, you always do. Yeah, I know. And um, so I start freaking out and I'm always paranoid about everything. And uh, the way my house is set up, there's this big room and there's a hallway that leads to another hallway where like the bathroom is and like the other rooms. So I go from my room to the bathroom and I peer down the hallway to the big room and um, there's no lights on or anything. Like I just look to make sure because obviously I'm paranoid. Um, so I go into the bathroom and then I come out and I look down the hallway again and there's a light turned on in the big room. And so obviously like I didn't turn the light on. There's nobody in my house. so. I thought that somebody was in my house. Dun, 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 dun. There's a ghost or something. And I start thinking all these different things. And I run into my room. Obviously, grab a knife. Because oh, yeah. I just keep knives in my room. 
for protection reasons. And I knew I was going to be home alone, so yeah. I grabbed a knife. Smart, smart. And I'm just, like, ruling out all the possibilities. I'm like, I'm going to die. <laughs> and, like, this is how I'm going to go. And um, I work up the courage to go downstairs. And the stairs are right next to my room. So I go downstairs, check downstairs, make sure there's nobody in my house which there wasn't. Okay, good, but good. But I couldn't work up the courage to go up to the big room where the light was turned on, and the light was still on in there, because I'm not going in there to turn well, it yeah, off. Well, yeah, obviously. You know? So, finally, I, like, I'm thinking to myself, this is how I'm going to die. Like, should I call the cops? What am I, what do I do? So I call my dad, who lives, like, 35 minutes away, because he's home. And I was like, Dad... I love you. I was like, Dad, this is it. I love you. Um, Just how to freak him out in five seconds, I guess. (laughs) And he's like, Paige, what's wrong? And I was like, I think there's someone in the house. I just, I accept it. This is it for me. Wow. And he's like, what? What's what's going on? And I was like, a light turned on, and I didn't turn it on. There's nobody in the house, so this is it. And he's like, just call mom just call mom so i'm like tears streaming down my face i'm bawling my eyes out and i call my mom and i was like mom the light turned on in the living room and i didn't turn it on there's nobody in the house and i had this i had the knife in my hand and i'm like getting ready right (laughs) and she's like Paige, i put a timer on the light so that it would turn on so that people would think that somebody's home at all times, so that, you know, since you're home alone. It would have been nice to know that. But, yeah. And she didn't tell me that, obviously, um, and I was pretty pissed, and I'm just sitting there bawling my eyes out with a knife in my hand, like, shaking. Um, yeah, so that's probably the wow. most impactful story that I have kind of changed me. Always make sure there's <laughs> no timers on the friggin' lights, yeah, I like, guess. I didn't even think it would... I don't know. I, my yeah, I mean, you just... What I do is turn the upstairs TV on and blast it. <laughs> anyway, one story for me was I was in Washington, D.C. when I was probably like fourth, fifth grade. And we were going on the train. I, it's, this isn't a near-death experience, just very scary as a five-year-old kid. Or not five-year-old, a uh, like 12-year-old kid stuck in Washington, D.C. So... We were heading to a train to go to the, uh, I believe it was the Spy Museum. And the train door shut as we were walking towards it. And it was me and my mom were in front. And then my dad and my brother were in back. And my brother yells, the door's open, the door's open, get in. So me being a feisty little 12-year-old runs in. And I hear the door shut. And I'm talking. I'm like, yeah, mom, I can't wait. Jake, are you ready to see? And I turn around. My mom, my dad, and my brother are all looking at me through the other side of the train door. I'm freaking out because I'm stuck alone wearing an Angry Bird shirt in Washington, (laughs) D.C. And I'm like, oh, no, this is, oh, no, 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 no. So I start doing what every normal kid would do. I'd start banging on the doors. I started yelling, open the doors, open the doors. And luckily, they got the train stopped. They got me off the train, and then I found my dad because he got on the next train went to the place that I got off. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty scary as a uh, little kid, especially in D.C. where God knows what could happen if I didn't make it off that train. And uh, another one I just thought of as I was telling that story, this isn't a near-death experience for me, but it was pretty wild to experience I was in Maine one time, and we're with a bunch of uh, family friends up there. We're on the boat in the lake. It was kind of dead. I think it was like Labor Day weekend or something. And uh, we're on the boat, and all of a sudden we hear like the splashing. And we're like, the hell? And we look, and there's a guy like trying to swim, and we he looks like he's drowning. So we're like, all right, he's not yelling for help. We'll go over anyway, because, you know, we're normal human beings. And um, we helped the guy out of the water. And the thing I remember most is he didn't say thank you. He didn't, like, say that, oh, I was trying. He didn't, like, explain himself. It was just kind of weird that he was out there 
pretending to drown maybe. I have no idea what the hell was going on, but it was a very weird experience to watch. So, yeah, that's... That's a while, man. Yeah, that's about all I got. What about... uh, What else do we got here? Let's look. Hmm. So, yeah, let's... AJ, what... I think I uh, cut you off. What were you saying was your favorite movie? Or top five? Um... I can't really list out five. Of it was my, a f- uh, Infinity War, and but, you like the um, sci-fi stuff. Yeah, I really like the f- sci-fi stuff. The stuff that leaves you like thinking afterwards and questions, right? Or, like view on Earth and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I also like superhero movies. So. Oh yeah, I love them. Yeah, I I love them. I love them. So I mean, pretty much anything under that category, I'll mm-hmm. I'll enjoy. What was the last? Did you see Aquaman? Yes. Yeah. How'd you like that one? That one was pretty good. Um, probably one of my newer favorites. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. What about you, Paige? What uh, besides Bohemian Rhapsody, what's the uh, what was the last movie you saw in theaters? Theaters. Um, mm-hmm. I think yesterday was the first time I've actually gone to a movie theater in a really long time. Jesus. Yeah. I go, like, like every other week. Sit in the own comfort of my home. Yeah, see, I agree, but sometimes I just can't wait. I gotta go. Gotta yeah, see that I, movie. We were gonna see Glass, but it was sold out. So we had to Interesting. Wait. Good to hear that. I had to wait until 8 p.m. to watch Bohemian. You would have been confused if you saw Glass. I... Why? I've seen Split and Unbreakable. Thank you. Um, what about you, AJ? What was the last movie you saw in theaters? Aquaman? Um, oh, well, no. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Yeah. Right, right, it would have been Bumblebee. Yeah. That was a fun time. That was it. Yeah. Um, what else do we got? So, basically anything. You guys can have the floor. Talk about anything you want. What do you want to talk about? Besides habitable planets. Okay, okay. I don't really know. We kind of left the uh, the topics up to you. Oh, oh hey. Yeah. All right. Well, luckily I got a list, even though we <laughs> already ran through them. So, yeah. Um, any more uh, conspiracy theories? Because we kind of... That one was theory. the shortest topic I think we talked about. Besides Chuck E. Cheese and Mattress Firm, what else can we talk about here? Um, you Do you believe in moon landing? Do you think we actually went to the moon? That's a good one. See, I've seen There's a lot of evidence against it, and there's a lot of evidence for it, but I think we went to the moon. I mean... Like, it's it's a good, you know, thing to believe in. We went to the moon, but it's it's a little unrealistic once you really start, like, thinking about the pictures that we saw on it. Like, um... What was that? (laughs) Just keep talking. It's fine. All right. Um, In the pictures, like, of the moon landing and stuff, um, the flag that they set up, it um, was like set up it was as, if it was, as if there was a breeze or something. But right. that's um, impossible on the moon. And there was also pictures. But have you been there? No, I haven't been to the moon. Yet. Okay. Just checking. Yeah. Maybe someday. Yeah. Probably not, but, you know, maybe. Gotta have hope. Yeah, you gotta have hope. You gotta yeah. believe in yourself, man. Big dreams. Right? Big dreams. But yeah, I... I mean, we we went to the moon. Like, let's face it, we went to the moon. But have you seen the pictures of um, the boot prints in the bottom of the boots? No, what was that? The, um, the boot prints didn't line up with uh, the actual boots of the astronauts and stuff like that. There was um, a picture photograph. Have you seen the actual boots? There was pictures. I mean... There was pictures, granted, okay. I mean, it's the internet, so you never right, really right. know. But, I mean, it it looked pretty legit. I mean... It's probably not easy. I mean, it would make sense to, like, if... fake an astronaut suit with, you know, boots and everything. And just for the point of faking that, like... Yeah, that's fair, I guess. Uh, one of the things that kind of blew my mind when I heard it was that Stanley Kubrick directed the moon landing. I know neither of you know who Stanley Kubrick no, is. I know. Well, you might. I know. But... Um, it was to basically beat Russia in the space race even though we weren't actually going to go. It was kind of like a a ruse, you know? It was That one I was like, okay. If yeah. that actually was revealed to be true, that would be kind of cool, but 
then again, we went to the friggin' moon, let's face it. What about, um, who do you think shot JFK? <laughs> no, we're not going to talk about that one. Um, so cars, let's talk about cars, AJ. I, wanna, I want you to go on a rant about some cars. What's your all-time dream car? What's your f- just, just dream car? Dream, dream car. car. Okay, okay. so uh, it would probably have to be, if I were to get into specifics, a wide-bodied uh, 1995 Mazda RX-7. Uh, just because it's just such a cool looking car. Um, is it good so on gas? Much... You don't know, do you? No, no, okay. I don't really know. I'm going to guess it's not the best on gas. But... <sighs> well, if you're going 100 in it down the side roads, maybe. Oh, yeah. Well, if I'm going sideways down the side no. roads, laying rubber, <laughs> <laughs> that would probably affect the gas mileage. Too. Yeah, that, that's a fair point. Fair yeah. statement. What about you, Paige? All time favorite car not favorite car dream car um i guess a four-door burnt orange jeep wrangler pretty damn close to what you have now you seen the uh, i mean new, uh, not gladiator really but truck you're gonna get the gladiator no you know? i don't want that yeah you do let's okay. face it <laughs> uh, all right i'll buy it <laughs> jeep truck man that's it's calling my name anyway pretty neat yeah yeah a four-door Jeep Wrangler. I mean, I could go for two as well. You could go for two. Like, I have two and you can get four. I want to get a Ford Shelby GT500. Mm, those things are mm, a 10 out of 10 in my book. It's the, the look of them. Ford. Sorry, I'm just dreaming about it. <laughs> anyway. What else can we talk about here? Um, let's talk about hockey page so why why do you hate playing hockey is it it's definitely the coaches the coaches okay why well when i first started obviously i'd never really skated oh yeah so i was very bad and when you're on a varsity team since there's only a varsity varsity team team, okay you know not a lot of girls actually play hockey you get kind of ignored a lot since you're just starting out and the coaches pay right. more attention to the girls who actually know what they're doing. So, like, I kind of had an easy ride freshman and sophomore year. Like, they didn't really pay attention uh-huh. to me. Like, they didn't yell at me or anything. Like, it was fine. But, like, kind of end of sophomore year and all of junior year, they just they take the fun out of it because they yell at you about the most stupid stuff and they basically tell you that you know, you're never going to be good or anything. I feel like they tell you that in every sport. Pretty Just much, to try yeah. to push you harder. But then again, you know, it gets me right in the feels, you know? Yeah. It sucks. So, I mean, do you enjoy playing it? or? Yeah. I mean, the time that I actually do get to play, right. I enjoy it. But, um, yeah. I mean. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Yeah. And at this point in my life, I'm like, if it ain't making me happy, then why am I doing it? So what about you, AJ? What's a, what's a sport? No, you don't play any sports. Uh, hobby. Yeah, hobby. Well, let's talk about hobbies. What, well, um, what's a hobby of yours? Um, a long time hobby was uh, fishing and stuff like that. You know, it's pretty. I don't think I ever knew about this. Tell me about this. You know, it's it's a pretty basic thing. Ever since I was like a little kid, uh, growing up, my dad and my grandfather always took me fishing, and it's always just been something you know fun to. And stuff that I enjoy. Interesting. Yeah. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty fun. You know, it's peaceful. You just right. wait, and then it gets exciting once you actually start to catch something. Yeah. That yeah, I haven't been fishing in a while, but it is fun trying to reel those mother efforts in. You know what I mean? Yeah. What about you, Paige? Hobbies besides playing hockey and photography and. Um, I really like skiing. Skiing. Yeah. I tried that once, didn't <laughs> go my way. Or skating. That whole balance thing, I can't really do. Mm-hmm. Well, once you have skiing down, skating's pretty easy. Or vice versa. That's what they told me. But, uh, That's what they told me. <laughs> Until I did a split on the ice in public. Anyway. Fun fact, I used to actually ski many years ago. What happened? Why'd you get out of it? Um. So I used to ski with my um, my old friend, uh, JC, right? We've known each other since preschool. 
So we started like skiing, I think like probably from uh, kindergarten up until third grade. And it really stopped once um, he moved away a little bit because we used to go to like the same place and ski. Mm-hmm. So um, ever since like he moved away and uh, like we were further apart, um, I was a lot younger then. So I didn't really have interest in keeping like keep trying to ski and stuff like that. So like as he moved away, he, he didn't go there anymore. So I was like, you know, it's not as fun when, you know, you're not doing it with your friend. And um, I eventually just kind of like slowly dropped it off and yeah, never really. What about snowboarding? You ever get into snowboarding? No. <laughs> I've it's... tried snowboarding. Yeah. It didn't go very well. Then that seems even more dangerous for me to do because you have to like turn. And it's like ugh. <laughs> yeah, but uh, if you put me on like skis or a snowboard or something today, I'd I hit the ground within seconds. Yeah, no doubt about it. When I went skiing i'm sure people have heard this story before but it's a good one um i was on the the bunny hill i may have been on the bunny hill um and i got on the skis and i was at the top i was ready to go down this was like my first or second time going down and i fell and i I was going up with my knees up in the air had no idea where i was going and I hit a pole on the ground, and I remember just, like, doing, like, a 90-degree turn and just, like, ragdolling. And it was funny, but did that hurt, man? Did that hurt? I was just lucky I didn't hit anyone on the way down. Oof, that was scary time. Skating was not very fun either. I held on to the railing the entire time. and All right, enough pooping on me here. Um, what else do we got here? What about the? We talked about hockey. We talked about conspiracy theories. We kind of hit everything here. So let's leave you guys with this. How enjoyable was your first experience here on the Ben Willett podcast? You want to go first? Um, I thought it was very enjoyable and it's very easy to talk about things for a while. And I agree. Um, yeah. Take a take a random guess of how long we've been here. Thirty seven minutes. <laughs> okay, fair <laughs> enough. Um what about you, AJ? Have you had a enjoyable experience? Um, I thought it was pretty fun. Uh it's new to me. You know, right. It's really new to, it's new to all of us here. Yeah. Uh it was certainly an experience, but you know, it's the first one, so it was probably gonna be oh, well, a yeah, lot choppier than uh, <laughs> later ones to come. Yep, still figuring out the kinks. All right. Yeah. Well, everyone who is listening right now on YouTube or wherever this is going to be posted, I want to say a big thank you, and I'm going to give you a big hug virtually and imaginatively, and uh, see you soon.